mind against God. Right. Listen at this. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. You want to be able to say this all your life. We ourselves also were, 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 were sometimes foolish. Keep that behind you. That's right. Huh? Were. That's how you can press towards the mark of the high calling. Glory to God, which is in Christ Jesus. That's right. We ourselves were. Were sometimes foolish. And I'm pretty sure you that are watching, you that are here can say amen. If you look at your life, and you ain't got to look far, you don't have to look long. <laughs> no. Eh? No. You don't have to look far, and you don't have to look long. That's right. And you got to admit, you were sometimes. Foolish. A fool. Amen. Uh -huh. Disobedient. What? Disobedient. You are hard to hear someone that tried to instruct you and tell you what's right. Yeah. Amen. But you commit treason right behind the back of the one that was instructing you. Went behind their back and act like a fool. And now the same one that you betrayed, you had to go back and reach out to them to bail you out of your madness. Amen. Eh? Amen. What is it? We ourselves also were sometimes foolish. foolish. Disobedient. Disobedient. Deceived. What? Deceived. You know, it's sad to be deceived repeatedly. Yes. And not only that, not only is it sad to be deceived repeatedly, it's sad to be deceived repeatedly the same way. Imagine that. You keep getting duped the same way. You ain't learned nothing. No. You ain't learned nothing. You haven't learned nothing. Deceive. Eh? Deceive. Somebody play the same game. You know, when I came up, uh, you go downtown for the left, you're on Market Street. You will always see some fellas down there with a table playing a game called Three Card Molly. Yeah. And, uh, and, and in the midst of that crowd, the whole thing was win money or lose money. So in the midst of that crowd, he would have other guys working with him, but they wouldn't stand at the table there, be there in the crowd. Why? And so to make people think that the game was legit. So he has moved those cards around and moved those cards around. You may put $20 on a card, and he put $20 on the card. If you guess the card, you get the $20 back. All right, so then he'll move it around, and his buddy would be in the crowd, put the $20 down there, and he basically, he'll let him win. He'll let them win, and then he'll let them win a little bit because they're all working together. And they, that way, get others involved. And when others get involved, they, 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 they're, they're the real suckers. <laughs> they're the real fools. That's right. Feel what, don't you know these freakers are playing just like three-card Molly with you? Amen. They're playing with you. They don't care nothing about your soul. No. They don't care if you would. Listen, if you went to hell tonight, the preacher won't care if it was possible that you had an envelope in your hand full of money and was sinking down in the floor of your church going to hell the preacher will walk by not grab your arm to try to pull you out of hell That's right. <laughs> he won't say anything to try to pull you out of hell right. on your way down that preacher will run by and snatch that envelope full of money while you just go on down to hell. That's right. Eh? Deceive. You're following a deceiver. Mm -hmm. A deceiver is one that's willingly knowing what the Bible says and refuse to tell you. That's right. Willingly trick you. I have no respect for no man and no woman who will stoop so low because for a person to deliberately deceive you, they don't love themselves. No. They don't love themselves. No. For them to treat you like what they are, nothing. And there are some folk that live a life of just deceiving folk, just to see what they can get out of. There's men that do that to women. There's women that do that to men. Amen. Yeah, just, just, just deceive them and trick them, just to get the money out of them. Get the money out of them. Get the money out of them. I keep telling people moreover, you cannot walk this life and hit the cemetery without you reaping what you sow. Yeah. The Holy Ghost has yeah. deceived, deceived, serving divers, serving lusts. divers, lust, whole lot of lust and pleasures. Viewers, is that you? Is that you? Are you? Are you? You went clubbing Sorry. last night. Many of you watching now. You went clubbing. You went clubbing on Friday. You went clubbing on uh, Saturday. Yeah. You may stay at home on Sunday morning to watch the telecast so you can feel a little spirit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey Amen. You want to feel a little spirit? Yeah. Hey Amen. Hey Amen. But uh, I guarantee you Sunday night, they got parties going on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Certainly, Williams used to party? One party. Pastor. You went to one party? Yeah. 
this man, man, what was that? Was it bobbing for apples or pending? What was it? No, it was a real tail party. On the donkey? It was a real party. Was it a real party? I mean, were you drinking a little? No. I no beer? Mainly on the wall, Pastor. You was the man on the wall. Well, you know, they drank whiskey leaning up against the wall, you know. <laughs> you didn't get drunk, didn't get stoned? I what didn't about get you, stoned. Hewitt? I thought I heard, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Used to party? Get drunk? Yeah, get drunk. <laughs> it must be good to him. Look at the way he said it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Get drunk? That's all right, man. That's your past. Nice. That is your past, isn't it? Hey, glory to God. <laughs> well, when you look at your past, yeah. it's a blessing. Oh, yes. Because the Apostle Paul said, forgetting those things that are behind me, I press towards the mark. That's right. Or it takes God of the high calling. That's right. Now, this is what the devil do. The devil, use your past. Yeah. They try to keep you back in the present. That's right. They hinder you from your future with God. Forgetting those things which are behind. Hear us, hear this. In the book of Philippians chapter 3 and verse 13. That's one thing, what, uh, you know, when people, thousands of people talk to us and they relate to me about their past. And one thing, I never hold nobody past on them. No, no, I don't, I don't do it. I don't hold nobody past against them whatsoever. Many people ask, well, Pastor Jennings, if somebody wronged me and I don't trust them, <laughs> even though they wronged me three years ago and I don't trust them today am I holding their past against them not necessarily because if a person wrong you it is nature it is your nature not to trust them right. but also you got to give them a chance <laughs> and you got to give them a chance because God has given us a chance every day that's right you can't assume that they are the same man and same woman that you dealt with three years ago now I must admit there are some they are the same they ain't made no change no, I mean, they have made no change. Anyone that come along, if they can duke them, con them, get something over on them. You know, there's some folk, they distance themselves from you or won't be a friend to you no more because they see that you won't let them duke them no more. That's right. They, they see that you won't let them uh, con them no more. You refuse to give him any more money. You refuse to give her any more money. You ain't buying them nothing else. So what is it? Before they turn you loose, they already got their next candidate lined up. That's right. But I'm telling you right now, you got to reap what you sow. What you sow. I was raised this way. Be careful how you treat people going up the ladder. Because there may be some of the same people you meet on your way down the ladder. That's right. And sometimes the same one that you despise, that you treated so wrong, God will fix it so. You got to reach out to him. That's right. And you got to reach out to her for help. Huh? I bear witness, the false prophet I came up under, he treated a dog better than he treated me. Yeah. Amen. He got over the pulpit and said that if me and my wife, she wasn't my wife yet, but if me and my wife got married, he told the whole church in front of everybody, I hope that you and Sister Darlene drop dead at the altar My Lord. if y'all get married. And for what? There was no reason, none whatsoever. That's right. Amen. He set me down for a year for preaching what's in the Bible. Right. He said, I don't care if what you preach is in the Bible. He said, don't preach it here. Amen. All right. After the year expired, he came back in front of the church. He said, all right, I'm going to let Brother Gino preach tonight. And uh, being that he want to talk about Bible so much. And let's see, is he going to stay with what I preach? Or is he going to preach what the Bible says? He was so determined to uh, control what I'm preaching. He called the chapter. He called the verse. I ain't had no problems with that. I took the chapter and I took the verse and then God gave the increase. That's right. <laughs> and after God gave the increase, brother, amen. After God gave the increase, he jumped up right in the middle of the message to interrupt me again and said, sit down. He set me down another year. 